And let's dig this story down a bit as we have a legal practitioner, Ola Inka, Ola Daniels, who joins us live via Zoom from Lagos. Good to have you join us. Um, Ola Inka Daniels, yeah. if you can hear me, okay. Uh, I just want to get your thoughts yeah, on this because the president has said that he was going to do this um, some earlier this year when he said that he was going to revis revisit the grazing routes. Um, now we see that a committee has, in has been put in place to do that. Uh, help us understand what this means in light of the Constitution, um, the Land Use Act, and then just other relevant laws. Well, it's unfortunate that we are here and um, I'm not going to blame Mr. President uh, for his um, action. Um, I'm going to blame his advisor, who happens to be Mr. Uh, Attorney General, because if you, uh, if you give uh, the president wrong advice, whatever that he's doing will be based on that. And if you, on, if you also, uh, um, if you remember when Mr. President was, uh, I mean, during the interview on Rice, he said he would listen to his attorney general. He would not discard his advice. Meaning that if attorney general is not giving Mr. President the right um, uh, um, advice, we will be where we are today. Because right now, it's clear, the uh, Land Use Act made it clear. The, the state has absolute, absolute power over their lands. And um, the, 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 um, the law they are even referring to, this is in 1965-1963. And ISOM is, the, is in the, uh, the, 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 Nigerian, uh, the northern Nigerian law, not even the entire country. Uh, the only reserve in Ogun State and um, Oyo, Oyo has two, and Ogun has one. And that was even then, and they were not even gazetted. So I don't know why Mr. President is looking for what is not lost. And I don't know why they want to insist on, I mean, uh, deserting, I mean, number of uh, uh, reserves. When we are talking about, uh, I mean, this thing is outdated. Grazing, our open grazing is so outdated. This is not what we should be talking about. We have so many issues in the country as we speak that need so much attention and not... I mean, wasting our time, wasting all the little time you have to fix this within the short time this administration has. But what we see is them looking for what is lost, trying to, I mean, find a um, number of um, uh, open grazing reserves in over, I mean, 20, 21, 25 states. It, it's, it's seriously... We, 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 we really need to sit tight and understand the priorities of, 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 of solutions, of things we need to do in this country. Because but let, really, me, let me quickly jump in here, uh, because I, I also want to ask this. Some, some, state, some states um, or some state governors have already, um, already have bills in the, in the state houses of assembly to ban open grazing. Um, if the president goes ahead with this, for example, and then one of the states that have banned open grazing, if there is an act in that state to ban open grazing, and the president goes ahead with this, what then happens in such a state? Uh, what then is the superior law in that state? Very well. Thank you. Don't forget that Mr. President Directive, Attorney General Directive, is not superior to the 99 Constitution, as we all know. The superior law remains the constitution of our land. And there is no where written in that constitution. Even section 318 uh, of 99's constitution as amended made it clear. It's even prime to have an open, gra uh, open grazing. So if Mr. President go ahead to gazette it and all that, as long as that thing is inconsistent, as long as that direct, as long as that gazette is inconsistent with the provision of the constitution, it is void of an issue. So if the like they should go ahead, the state has already and the constitution has made it clear, the land use has made it clear. The governor has the power over the state. Anyone that wants to do uh, um, um, that wants to go on grazing should look for a land, should talk to the government of any state. It chose to is the business. So Mr. President should not I, I, my advice to Mr. President is to jettison that idea because it will conflict and contradicting the provision of the constitution of the 1999 constitution. That is the the law as far as this country is concerned and 1965 1963 does not apply here because what we are using today is the 99 constitution and it's so clear it's, clear, it's not ambiguous so if mr 
Malali, Mr. Attorney General has advised Mr. President wrongly, and they are also both doing this to bring out whatever they have. It's once as long uh, as is inconsistent with the provision of the Constitution, it is void. Uh, the, the, so the it governors... will not see the light. It will not see the light of the day. All right, we, uh, we are yet to hear from the governors, although they already made their resolution in the meeting they had in Asaba. Uh, we'll see how they, they respond to this latest um, statement coming from the president. What, we have, told the governors, what we have told the governors is to make sure that the House of Assembly of each state make sure that this law stands. They should right. go and do what is necessary and make it the law I'm, of their I'm afraid state. I have to, yeah, I have have to leave it there. I wish we had more time to look at that, but I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there. I'm legal practitioner Olainka Ola Daniels. Thanks for talking to us.